In the tube you will find this information sheet attached to the back of the shade. In the tube you will also find some clear optical tape. This is to be applied to retractable windows at the bottom seal once it is applied to the window. You will also find a CKS logo to be applied to the installed shade. Prepare the window by removing the rear window wiper for ease of application. Now it's time to prepare the window. Apply a solution of dishwashing liquid and warm water to remove all mud, grime, bug poo and tar. Use a razor to scrape the grime off once the solution is applied. You may have to apply the solution more than once to ensure perfect adhesion. Spray 100% isopropyl alcohol onto the window. This sterilises and dries the surface. Note, one way vision is only 50% as sticky as window tint, so don't forget to clean right into those corners and edges. This is where adhesion is the most critical. Position the shade on the window. Move it around until you're happy that the design is centred. Masking tape the shade to the car, securing it well so it doesn't drop off. Don't be shy with the tape. Check the images centred vertically and horizontally before you start application. If you have a top spoiler or other obstacles, draw a cut line around the obstacle once you are happy with the placement of the shade. Remove the shade from the window and place on a clean surface to cut out the relevant pieces. CKS recommends allowing room for error by cutting a few millimetres in from your drawn line. Now comes the fun part. Tape the shade back into position on the window and check the alignment again. Carefully cut a cross section for the wiper if there is one. Applying the shade to the window is a two person job. One person holds the backing while the other slowly peels back the one way vision shade to the halfway point. Be gentle when you peel the shade off the backing. It's a little flexible but will stretch and lose its stickiness if you pull too hard. While one person holds the shade, the other person will cut the backing off at halfway. CKS recommend using scissors so you don't cut the glass. Apply masking tape to the backing at the halfway point to stop lint contamination. The first person holds the shade almost horizontal to the window with a small amount of tension. Person 2 uses a squeegee block to press the shade onto the window. Start from the centre of the shade, working your way slowly out towards the edge of the window. Push the one-way vision snugly against the seals. This will make it easier to cut later. Now peel the backing off the other side. Remove the masking tape and repeat the process. Apply the shade from the centre all the way out to the edge of the window. If you find an air bubble, you can pull the shade back gently, squeegee it out and keep applying until you get to the outer edge of the window. Take your time applying these big rear window shades. They can be fiddly because of pure size. If you have masking taped it well, you will have no problems. When you get to the outer edge of the window, press the one-way vision firmly against the rim for ease of cutting later. Now it's time to go back and tidy up that pesky rear wiper bolt. Squeegee firmly around the base of the bolt and then slowly trim at the base using pressure against the base for stability. Make sure your knife is really sharp. Take your time. When you've gone all the way around, remove the excess waste and squeegee down firmly.
Next cut a line below the wiper base and overlap the excess material. To prepare for cutting, use a thinner edge squeegee to press the shade right up to the edges of the window. Using a very sharp knife, slowly cut along the edge of the window, using the window edge as a guide to steady your knife. Now you're finished, reattach the rear wiper arm. Thank you to the team at Tindakar Cans for your fabulous installation skills. There you have a beautifully installed custom kids shade. Assure your customer that the squeegee marks will disappear from their beautiful shade in a week or so. Thanks for watching.